Okay. Driving in the Rockies with a heavy load. If you're RVing or pulling anything heavy, if you're in a bus, if you're full-time traveling, it takes some experience to uh, to travel these roads. You can you can burn up an engine really really quickly. All right. So the way I explained it to my wife is, it's like pedaling a bicycle. If you're in a really really low gear, like gear 24, for example, you can't you wouldn't be able to start your bicycle in a gear that was that low. So you want to start in a gear that's really high. So first gear, if you're really steep, uh, sometimes you can get it going in second or third or whatever. Yeah, but the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Okay, so put it in second gear here. Bicycle. If you're trying to climb roads like this and you're in on a bicycle and you're in gear 24, your engine or your legs will eventually just give out on you. That's essentially what your engine is doing here. So on hills like this, you've got to be in a really high gear. That's why they're there. First, second, and third is what's on our bus, but it goes into drive. So on these extremely steep hills, if your RPMs are going down, that means it's more than your engine can take. So you have to back it down and put it into a higher gear. Like we are currently in first because it's a pretty steep grade. Second. Every truck, car, RV, or whatever has a, has kind of a sweet spot uh, as far as rotations per minute. And um, ours happens to be around 2,500. So the faster we can get to 2,500 and keep it there, the better. If we start dropping below 2,500, then it's going to start putting too heavy of a load on our engine and it'll eventually overheat our, our engine. So we want to keep the engine at about uh, 190 is, a, is what it would be at when it's flat. We like to keep it around 200 whenever we're in the mountains. Okay. <laughs> let's switch, let's switch, let's switch. So let's just say I'm just going to stop because nobody's behind me. It's just like riding a bicycle. You wouldn't have this a bicycle in a lower gear, like 18th gear, for example, if you're just starting out and you're going up a hill. Your legs won't allow you to do it. So you start out in the highest gear possible going up these hills, and you start getting some momentum, and then you switch. That's why these gears are there. So we're in third. Likes to be at around 2500 RPM. That's just the sweet spot for our bus. And every car, every truck, every RV, everything with an engine kind of has a sweet spot that it likes. If we're below 20, if we're below 2500 like so, then it'll put too much load on the engine and the RPM will start dropping. So that's my cue to put it into a higher gear. What's the deal with the heat again? The heat uses Freon. It's the same Freon that circulates through your engine to keep it cool. So whenever your heat is on, it's actually circulating Freon through the heater, which speeds up the Freon that's going through your engine. So like on the really treacherous hills like this, whenever you seem to just, your engine seems to be overheating a lot, you can cut that on high and it'll get more water circulating faster. Come here, britches. I wouldn't go down there. <laughs>